You might not be able to see them, but you can always hear them. Outside the walls, always watching, waiting, scratching at the walls and making loud obnoxious noises. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to RimWorld. I hear you boys. I promise you today our biggest priority is to install lights all over the goddamn place. Lights that are not red. I promise that is today's priority. We'll get that going and you guys might actually see some of the stuff happening in the video. Now I knew this could be a problem going into this series. I knew that it's gonna be really tough for anybody to see anything. But I wanted to give it a try because it's just such a cool thing. Like really such a cool thing. So I'm sorry for all the red. We'll get some white lights out there. And I was joking when I said, okay, fine, we'll go blue and green everywhere. We'll get the white lights out there and we'll fix those. And hopefully that's gonna be fine. Also, say hello to uh, renaming our two new recruits. We got Nino in here. We're gonna, we're gonna read the backstory for these guys as well. And we have Tubbins sleeping in this beautiful red room. Beautiful indeed. Where he's slowly healing up. Now, on the map, we still have 65 zombies out there just chilling hopefully we'll deal with them in time nino is an ordinary human like you like me or like jesus christ with the particularity that at five years old he suffered an accident while taking a shower the soap slipped from his hand he flew very high and ended up impacting on his left parietal with a strand of three african baboons upon waking up nino could only repeat his name Wherever he went, he just repeated, Nino, 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 Nino. His father, an intelligent and sagacious police officer, understood that Nino was an invaluable resource, and from that day forward, he carried Nino on his patrol all the time, using him as an alarm. While over the years, he trained him in the handling of all kinds of firearms and close combat tactics. His father used to say, Nino, you're an idiot. That's why you must learn to defend yourself from this world. And Nino learned everything he needed to dismantled an Iranian terrorist cell using a spoon and three tubes of toothpaste. Nino was ready for this world. And oh boy are we glad to have you Nino. Oh boy are we glad. Now, I know I promised lights. There are no lights up yet. We'll get them going, don't worry boys. Now the reason why I did pick Nino is because, you know, he's got that chemical damage to the brain. So I think uh, this character <laughs> fits very well for him. Very well indeed. Now, as for our boy Tubbins, let's read his backstory as well. Lost in the world of permanent darkness, Tubbins was used to a life in a bunker. Small, compact and well lit with supplies and facilities, life was good. It would have been good until a sudden earthquake caused the bunker he lived in to be wrecked and exposed to the surface. To his horror, he was met with the undead roaming in the shadows and strangers willing to kill him for what he had. This forced the poor soul to leave his bunker with only his clothes and a knife with some food for traveling. Fortunately, in his journey he found his way to a small colony of survivors who, despite their dark attires, treated him with kindness and showed him their loyalist way of living. Having found a new place to call home, Tubbins now lives with these loyalists and hopes that one day their colony will thrive and go beyond this dark world. Tubbins, my son, I certainly hope we can one day escape this world but I promise nothing we do have a geothermal Jenny now so that is good power if lost were actually to connect this oh boys lights are starting to pop up we're building them everywhere wherever I can we're yonking these boys in and I'm keeping them on they are not that you know hard to keep on so definitely gonna keep more going just running around all the way out here whenever they're built I'm gonna keep these bad boys up and running just constantly so you can see a bit better but otherwise the rest still stays in the mystery of darkness Amiri tried to convert Nino to his ideologion whatever how ideologion ideologion that's how you call religion huh and now they're fighting Amiri come on buddy Really necessary. <laughs> also, boys, while they fight, more lights. We got more lights. More lights in the darkness. Now you can see our whole colony a bit better. 
just a bit. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a couple more out here, so we don't just have dark uh, dark red. I know that's unfortunate. We need to get them out here as well. Ah, uh, Shaman Merchant is coming. You know what? Merchants uh, will give you an option to come inside. Lost. Work on this for me for a second. As you can see, we're getting the lights up over here as well. There you go. So merchants can come in. Of course, this is gonna invite the zombies as well to probably start moseying towards us. Ah, uh, but you know, we can afford having it open for a second. Are you guys coming in? Come on in. I don't, I'd appreciate that. Feels like your guys are going the wrong direction. Oh, these guys are definitely going the wrong direction. The zombies right away knew what's gonna happen. Um, you know what? I, um... I say no. Lost. Work on this quickly. Oh no, they're coming in. They're coming in. Blue's coming back in. Alright, let's, uh, let's cancel this for a second. Yeah, Blue, you come in. The, the rest of the boys are going to fight. Now, who's my best social? That would be Nuke. Nuke, trade with Blue quickly. Uh, I don't know if you can actually trade with them, but I, you know, they left gold and such behind. If you could actually get that, that'd be nice. Oh, Blue is leaving again. You know what? Yeah, let them let them leave. Because this they could just cause more issues. We'll let your ducks go as well. Yeah, you guys just leave. That's probably for the best. All right. You know what? Looking at our base. Lights up all around. It's it's a bit better, you know, if you look at the rest of the world. It's at least a bit lighter. Now, since we have this closed, I can presume we're either going to get sappers attacking us or drop pods directly in here. So, you know, it's going to be fun next time we get raided. I'm going to start building some bedrooms for people. Just, you know, something small, nothing uh, nothing special. All these zombies are coming down here because they, they learned we had open stuff over here. Uh, people are not very happy with... Well, their accommodations right now, so if we can do something like this for them, I think that might uh, might make them at least slightly happier in the long run, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna set up a small commune for our six boys over here and, uh, and go for it. Wow. <laughs> Lost you okay? This, this boomerang just died due to malnutrition while standing next to Lost, or while lying on the ground next to Lost. What are the odds of that, boys? I don't know, but probably not very high. These guys have positioned themselves really nicely over here for our uh, sentry gun. Yoing them. Rip them apart. I like it. Now, of course, what we're gonna have to do in the future, or in the near future, uh, we're gonna have to beef up the walls. Like, we only have single file walls, you know, so anybody that comes to attack us, can rip us apart real fast. We'll have to, or we will want to prepare in such a way that, you know, we have time to respond. So if somebody is coming through here, we have time to get there. Or maybe from down here, we have time to get there. All right, most of the zombies over here have been killed, which means what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna unlock this again. And that should bring some more zombies down here. Why is there a drama there here? Excuse me. I, it's gonna starve to death as well. I guess now it's gonna run out. Uh, basically, I'm opening the door so more of these zombies will start moving. As you can see, they're already starting to move down here. So uh, they'll have a chance to get closer and then the sentry gun can kill them. Okay, maybe the sentry gun is not killing them as fast as I hope. Because this, this guy is definitely coming in. Oh no, it's he's going by. I think he's chasing that drama there that was in here. Alright, well... Uh, Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, these guys are definitely coming. Let us reconnect. There's not that many, because they are just, you know, coming in here one at a time. Oh, come on. You made a hole over there. Yeah, our, our turrets are not the best at actually hitting stuff. This guy is playing with them, or this lady. Come on. Get him, boys. Nice. Good kill. I'm guessing more is going to be coming in. Yeah, there's, there's a couple more. Nino is... He's having a tantrum because we had no recent conquest. We really need to convert you. Amiri, when can you do that? Uh, oh. 
and he's mentally broken, so can't do it quite, quite now. We'll have to do that soon, I think. We researched the first of our, like, special Rimsnow weapons, Energy Crucible. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go research more of these, but uh, let's actually see. What do we need to build that? So we have... Oh, we may mostly need components right now for all this stuff. And this one you need Crucible Cores, Ferrum, and, well, more components. I believe you get these cores and all that stuff from people raiding you from the federations of the Rimsnall stuff. So, do that. We could build the scav bench, though. Uh, we don't have chunks, apparently. There's gonna be chunks lying around, don't you worry about that. Alright, Amiri, let's give this a try. Okay, we reduce his certainty down to 63. Okay, it's good. No recent conquest is really, really doing bad things to him. Uh, that's fine. We'll get you down, buddy, don't worry about this. We got Cleaver and Compressed Plastic Gladius fall from the sky over here. Mm, I don't think we're going all the way out there to get that. Even though there's only 20 zombies remaining. Like, the sentry guns has been taking care of them, like, slowly but surely. Which I do like. But I still don't think there's much need for us to go out there quite, quite now. You see, this could be a problem. The sentry gun actually made a hole in our wall. Uh, Alright, just, just 15 zombies. That ain't nothing too bad. Let's get you all down here. Tubbins... Go this way, buddy. This way. Yeah. Right, the sentry gun is actually shooting at our walls over here. So this is definitely the first place where we want to double the walls. Definitely the first place. I don't think any of them made it inside yet. And then again, we do have these turrets over here. It's just, you know, kind of dangerous for, for our boys to just stand here. Uh... Well, these guys are just chilling there, you know? There's not that many here. Ah, you guys are fine. Tubbins, what you doing, buddy? Yeah, clean that rock rubble. That's that's very smart. Very, very smart. Yeah, yeah, do more, more of that. Thank you. Looks like these guys are... Okay, kind of stuck. And we have a raid. Ooh. These guys have some cool guns and stuff. Steel glaive and the scatter scatter guns. These are ferals, I guess. There's four of them over here. They have the damned one with them as well. Oh, this guy's got nail guns, submachine, the uranium cleaver. Good thing we have a hole in our wall. You know, I like that. And there's mist down here with a crucible rifle. Well, boys. Now we definitely need to prepare. We're gonna squat up down here. If these guys go there, they'll deal with the zombies and they'll probably also fight and destroy my sentry gun, which is a problem. It's kind of annoying this group up here, but it's just two over there. So hopefully not that big of a deal. And we are shooting at zombies already. So turrets should deal with these zombies. Nice. Good kills. Alright, Lucky, you go for zombies. That's the spirit. That damned one is... Oh, they're going for our coolers. You know what? We... If nobody wants to go here, we position ourselves there. That's what we're gonna do. I just wanna see. What was that exactly? Why is this guy exploding as much? I'm not sure if I'm a fan of that. Okay, that's the first group fleeing. We got Tass in here that got wrecked. The damned one is trying to ignite the wind turbine. It's not going for zombies, but heat is going for zombies. Alright, where's the rest of them? Mist is coming down here. Heath and Kay are fighting out there still. And there's the damned one. Rip it apart, boys. Come on. Yeah, I think we really should go in here. This is where we should be. Okay, that one, that set is fleeing. A gun is getting destroyed by mist. But we got mist as well. Nice. Alright. Easy money, boys. Let's see if Lucky... Lucky could be uh, potentially maybe recruitable. There's only 10 zombies in the map. Right now, there's none of them here. They did leave us plenty of flake. 
We'll haul that in. Uh, where's the guy that you captured? Lucky. Yeah, you know, his resistance isn't that bad. His will is pretty low. Uh, do we have anybody that's gonna heal him? Nuke. What you doing? Tending. Good. Good. So, Lucky, what kind of gear you have? Feral helmet. Feral mail. Pass leather shirt. Smoke pop back. Oh, um, smoke pop back. So, that's why, uh, I mean... Doesn't this just hit once? Because it exploded like three times in him. Is this different than it used to be? Maybe it's different than it used to be. So I guess I guess we'll leave it at that. Oh, there you go. Somebody turned into a powerful zombie. Excuse me. Dustin is apparently a powerful zombie. I am not the biggest fan of that. In fact, how about we fill this hole right now? Yeah, and apparently we have a zombie attack. So we're up to 78 zombies again, and of course they are up here. You'll love to see it. Let's uh, let's close this door for now. If we have a powerful zombie, yeah, I don't I don't trust these motor truckers. So I wonder how good this crucible rifle is. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. It's slow firing, low quality weapon. 13 damage. You know what, slow firing is probably not very good for zombies. We did get these Feral Nail Guns as well. Shoots a very high rate of fire, but it's very inaccurate. Only does little damage. It, could that be better against zombies? I don't know. Oh, what I'm trying to do is give Nino something else. You know what, screw it. Nino, grab, grab that. We'll take it. Uh, Tubbins is repairing some of these walls over here that are really low. Also, Tubbins' repair skills are also really low, so... Maybe that's not for the best. Tubbins, you know what? Screw that. Just uh, work on some of these walls. Transport pod crash. Hmm, Kasky. I am... I'm sorry. You you might... Uh, you might just keep on living in this river of red that you are right now. I'm not going for you. Nope. No, fuck that. Lucky got sick from infection. God damn it, Lucky. Right leg. It's fine. Uh, Luke, fix him up. We don't have a prison for him right now, which is, you know, unfortunate. I guess we could turn one of these new uh, buildings into a prison. One of these ones. And are you guys gonna hate me if I do different lights over here? Like, are you gonna absolutely hate me or are you gonna hate me just slightly? Because I'm, I'm sorry, but I, you know, I really do love me some different lights. Just how it is. Oh, these zombies came down here to eat mist, and our turret is just nicely popping them while they the, while they numb. <laughs> I, I'd say that's pretty good. It's a good deal. There's a problem though, because a lot of them are just on this wall. But you know, if you give this sentry gun some time, it should slowly clean them out. It's just kind of close to the wall, and I would love to build this, because otherwise, if we have one hole in here, all of this comes inside. Oh, Jesus. They're all around the sentry gun. Come on, you got this. You can't miss. Stop shooting at our walls. That wall is a 20%. Oh, this is, uh, it's kind of problematic. We only need triple walls on this side, not just double. Even more. Like, it, it's having to, it's having trouble even shooting these. And of course, the sentry gun got kind of wrecked. Stop shooting at the walls, man. <laughs> what is wrong with you? How hard is it not to shoot in here? There you go, better. So, what do you guys think about these lights? Hmm? Green? It's not so bad, right? You gotta, you gotta have a combination of lights. Please don't hurt me on that one. Or don't hate me on that one, I should say. It just... I like me some green lights as well, you know? And for bedrooms? We'll do, we'll do green bedrooms. We have pretty much all the zombies over here. Gotta, gotta build these walls. Tubbins, I know you're you're not very good at construction. In fact, you're terrible at it. Maybe you should tell Lost to do this instead of you. But yeah, we have to do this. Our threat level is it's pretty uh pretty nice looking. Someone you turned into a zombie. Kasky has turned into a powerful zombie. Oh boy, and Dustin is chilling around here. I wish we could have built this one when we were trying to build it. Yeah, it's gonna happen. Okay, Lost is building this. 
Thankfully, at least that doesn't mean we don't get holes right away in here. But we're gonna need we're gonna need more walls than just that. So we're here now. We could make some feral mail. We can make the feral scatter guns and submachine guns and all that stuff. Feral flamethrower. I wonder how good that would be against all of uh, these zombies. I'm gonna make one of these feral mails, I think. Uh, and actually, no, let's just make scrap armor, and Nino can then wear it. Yeah, because these guys already have these modular stuff. We can actually have two scrap armors and he can he can wear it as well. So we'll, we'll make two of these. They're really mad about lost building these walls around here. They're all like, ah, oh, I can smell you. Brains. But at least this thing is now shooting out there. So not towards our walls. These walls are pretty fucking low. <laughs> uh, still 50 zombies remaining. On the map, the two powerful ones are down here. So if any raiders come, the powerful ones will probably be dealing with them. The rest are here. Nino tried to convert Tubbins to his ideology. Uh, Nino, would you please leave Tubbins be? I'd really appreciate that. Also, where the fuck are you taking this away? All out. Uh, we can try to do it again in 19 hours to convert Nino, who should be down to what? 68% now? He's going up on that one. So, when can we do this conversion ritual again? In 14 days, it's gonna be just easy to do it. But in that time, we're gonna maybe Lucky in as well? Lucky wants to eat cannibal stuff, which is a slight problem. Alright, we got new storage. Uh, let's allow all... I'm gonna put it on preferred. Let's put no food in here, no corpses. I'll put oil or what is plants? No, let's not put trees in here. That's weird. Not chunks. The rest, let's put in here. Because right now we have storage issues. So I would like to put that in here. I'm going to just cancel this. Just throw everything we got in there for a bit. Lost is having some issues over here. He goes over here and he stands. I don't know what exactly he's trying to do. But he's definitely not working on what he was supposed to be working. So I kind of have to focus him on that all right so lost made us our first scrap armor so hopefully they will go for this one instead of well he's got the tainted flak vest so hopefully yeah it looks like nino already put on the scrap armor so this is good he's got the uh duster and some scrap armor that should work we're gonna need to get him a helmet but it doesn't look like we can make uh the helmets like these guys have the feral stuff this guy doesn't seem to be very happy, is he? Not at all. Like, he's in pain, hungry, cramped interior, ate non-cannibal food. Isn't that unfortunate? Nuke's gonna feed you some more non-cannibal food. Don't worry about that. These walls are almost gone. And after that, these ones are at, like, 30%. God. <laughs> Stupid sentry gun. I mean, you're doing a great job killing these, but still. Try not to destroy all of my walls, please. Holes in our walls already. And then that means just... Just tiny bit of protection over here. Mmm, lovely. You know, Tubbins, I know you suck at this. But repairing is gonna become your number one priority. Fuck cleaning sand. Start repairing everything. Raid! Uh, dropping transport pods nearby. Oh, they did drop down here. Okay. They'll prepare for a while, and these guys are the Haven Defilers again. These guys wants to do cannibal stuff, I think. All right, you guys prepare for a while. I don't, I don't mind. Uh, we'll, we'll have you be down here. You're probably gonna be turning into. Wait, there's another group over here. Right, uh, two groups then. I'm sure that's gonna go well for them when they uh, see some of these powerful zombies. They might destroy my sentry gun, which I'm gonna hate though. I do wonder if I set this one up over here, if we can build it from here. Because it's, you know, technically on this wall. I want to see if Tubbins can actually do this. Yes! Nice, alright, keep this one on. That's, I mean, probably not the best because... Uh, let's, let's be real now, the sentry gun's got, you know, it's in light. Can we put this one over here? I wonder if we can... Yeah, we can work on that one as well. Let's do this. And the pirates are attacking. I don't know what they're gonna do exactly. 
They're probably gonna go in here and then the turrets are gonna be ready for them. Alright, um... Boys, let's yoink our asses over here. Oh, they're gonna go for that thing, though. Probably, maybe? No, wait, they can't They can't even touch it, so they're gonna come inside. It's fine. Tubbins, you build the, the lights so we get to see. Let's keep that one on and let's uh, construct that light wall as well. Nice, nice. Light wall? Wall light, I should say. There you go. Okay, that's the first group leaving. Oh, well, we're... We're gonna probably gonna have these guys resurrecting. But they can't get to us, so this is not the worst thing. As long as these stay up and running. Hey! Leave the poor elephant dummy be. How dare you? <laughs> Alright, more coming in. Interesting that they didn't... Oh, never mind. They did. They did find Dustin. Wreck him, boys. I'm guessing this wall is soon going to be gone. Hey, this light should be on. Oh, come on. Don't don't destroy that, that one door that we got. Uh, let's see if we can reach you from this side. Well, no, we destroyed the other door. But Duran Duran is still up. Can we save them? Do you want to save them? I don't think we do. I think we're going to let them be. That's fine. There's 13 zombies remaining on the map. Some of them are just wandering around. You know, kind of lost. We do have this guy eating. Well, Dustin is probably going to make a Riku turn. This guy is just chilling out here. And I'm guessing these guys are all going to turn eventually. But we do have turrets over here. So hopefully we can get rid of them. And while this one still keeps on popping some of the guys. Alright. You know what? We brought some light into the darkness today. Uh, I hope we can set up these bedrooms in the next episode. And maybe even recruit Lucky. If you're lucky. So we'll see about that. There's some caravan animals wandering in. Yeah, I'm sure this is going to go well for you, dromedaries. For now, though, thank you, everybody, for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this episode. And I hope I'll see you again on the next one. For now, thank you. And I'll see you.